Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to create a, a cron job uh, that will uh, do a simple task. Task in the sense like a printing something or sending emails. It can be anything. So let's brief about what is the jobs and why we use that. Let's take example of a subscription system like uh, generally we got promotional emails, right? And generally it comes on a specific time, right? Suppose any event is going on and you are setting you are getting the emails before one hour or two hour and like uh, you are getting monthly updates for a particular product in your email or anything let's like a reminder or suppose you set a reminder on your phone that you need to do some task on every 3 p.m of a day of every day so these all the things can be done using the something called jobs so what are the jobs jobs is nothing but like uh, jobs is nothing but like it is a task that is taken care by your machine uh, to perform specific things okay so so let's take an example like uh, okay so what to suppose uh, i am just uh, okay for the example okay suppose i have one function like uh, this i hope my screen is uh, visible right okay suppose let's ignore everything right now so this is the setup for the fast API and everything okay just ignore everything suppose i have one function called print my name and my name and it uh, it does it will not take any parameter just print my name over there okay so the six name is not my name is like a copy answer, okay so uh, i want something like that i will get this I want to run this function every time. Uh, I want to run this function after every two seconds, or I want to run this function at the end of a day or a 9 p.m. of a day. So these kind of things can be handled using the jobs. So how we can handle the jobs in a Python? So for handling the jobs in a Python, we have something called we have multiple libraries in a Python uh, for handling the jobs and running cron jobs. Cron job is basically uh, uh, you want to perform a task on a specific time that will rerun your function, you rerun your task every time on a every 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 time on a specific time. So how can we do that? So in a Python we have multiple libraries. So AP Scheduler is one of them, and I use is I use it for my purpose. So let's clear the window. And what the fuck is going on? Okay zoom it a little bit okay so now we are going to install like uh, ap scheduler so ap scheduler is a library that we are going to use for our creating our cron jobs okay cron jobs or interval anything so okay so first of all i have to go to the let me start the virtual environment if you don't have any idea what is the virtual environment i have already videos for them so you can check out as well and also like for the fast API, like uh, start a fast API project starts structure for the fast API and, and database connectivity and running migration, everything in a fast API, you will get all the content in this, in this YouTube channel. Okay. So let me start the virtual NV. Okay. Source migrate. Source my NV. Then activate. Okay. So I am in my virtual environment and now I need to install AP scheduler. Okay. So for the AP scheduler, you can simply search in Google and AP scheduler Python. Simply search on that on a Google and you know, click on that. Okay, so this is like AP scheduler. All right, so this is the current version 3.9.1. Okay, so okay, what is three? So what is the version 3.9.1? Okay, so we are going to use the latest version 3.9.1 and let's, let's use 3.8.0, okay? So how can we install it? So for that we have we have uh, pip install for that, uh, pip install and the next thing we have like uh, ap scheduler, so ap and the scheduler is like uh, scheduler and the version I wanted is 3.8.0. You can install any version that you want, okay. Oh, it's running and oh, you can see I have successfully installed the AP scheduler, you can see. And let me freeze it, okay. Oh, I 
have not created the requirement TSC. Okay, no worry. I so I have installed the IP scheduler in in our current code base. And now we are going to create functions for running our uh, cron jobs. Okay, so let let me uh, destructure it and now I'm going to create one folder that will take care of my jobs and I'm going to create one file into it like uh, suppose like uh, job okay my jobs my jobs dot by this is one file that will contain all the jobs that I'm going to write and uh, the second file will be like uh, task the task that I want task dot by okay so this basically task dot by okay so I want to print my my I want to print my name so I'm just copying this function here and into the task dot by I'm just pasting it okay so I want to run this function like uh, you can also return directly okay okay I want to print my I want to run this function on a particular timestamp okay so you can see I have created the one function into it and this function has been created but what I want now I want to run this function on a particular time so what I can do for that okay so into the job section where all the jobs will run so what we need to do we have to uh, we have to initiate the background scheduler for our backend application okay so how can we do that we have we have to import AP scheduler things so you can see like we got AP scheduler and from there we schedulers and from the scheduler we need to import the background thing import background scheduler okay so I have imported the background scheduler and the next thing is that I need to create scheduler I need to init initiate this uh, background scheduler okay so how can we do that simply calling it so now I have uh, now I have scheduled this background scheduler and now what we can do we need to run this function right so what we can do we need to add job into the scheduler so this scheduler has been created and now we have to push jobs into the scheduler so how can we do that simply scheduler dot add job and after then we need to pass the function that we wanted so it will take function type of a job and the time on which time you want to run it okay so currently the function name is print my name so I need to import this into this file how can we do in a Python it is it is simple like uh, you can simply from from oh my job yeah from tax import print my name simply pass the function name into this and simply uh, press comma and the uh, type of job that you want to run so start with an interval okay so it will like an interval interval in the sense like it will run after a time interval okay so this example I am uh, taking seconds okay seconds so seconds in the sense like uh, suppose I want to run this after three seconds after each three seconds I want to run the job okay so you can see like a uh, task has been created task has been sent has been assigned to the scheduler and but the scheduler is still not used into the main file because all the execution in the python is stored from the main file so how can we use how can we initiate the scheduler into the main file so for that simply we have to import the scheduler that we just created so how can we import that so let me import this scheduler just we created from it is into the job function into the job section and we have let me see into my jobs right yeah my jobs need to import scheduler okay so I have imported the scheduler and what I need to do I need to st start the scheduler so this is your application starting point and now you have to start the scheduler so how can you start your scheduler you can simply pass scheduler dot start over there it will be start okay like this and 
at the moment you hit the start over there so this is like this is the only thing that you are making changes simply you just import the scheduler that you created into the this file and you just import it into the main file and you are starting the scheduler so let me comment out over there okay okay start scheduler okay starting scheduler yeah. and this will be assigning job to scheduler scheduler okay okay so and task these are the tasks okay simply just pass tasks okay okay so yeah run this go to the this section and just close it we don't need actually We're running the uh, running the this file flash file is a command I just save it need to run it again I guess I need to okay no worry let me clear the console first and uicon uicon main dot app app load I generally forget the command for running the running the these uh, fast API script let me check it uh, command for running okay command for running fast API okay let me just check it I only forget the command okay okay what's that uh, you can mean every load okay just copy it and simply paste it mm, something went wrong okay oh uh, we see the relative path error okay so how can we fix that whenever we got the relative path errors so what we can do we can simply import something called system path sys and sys dot path dot append and uh, appending this path like uh, single dot that we are using single dot over there so at the moment you append a single dot over there you don't need to use these dot sign over there okay hope it will run it so yeah you can see like uh, we're not getting the error again but uh, uh, we are not getting any relative path error now but the uh, my name is not printing so let's debug this python application okay so that's how you can debug the python application so a uh, scheduler has been started how can we check that the scheduler has been started so we can simply go to the these jobs file and into the task function we can simply use the debugger here so how can we use debugger into the python we have a pdb in inbuilt debugger over there so pdb dot set trace okay 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 oh, you can see the control is coming here oh yeah we are returning the things right we are returning the things we are not printing over there so can uh, actually the things are working so let's remove this debugger and simply print my name and this is still returning okay you can see my uh, my name will come okay okay execution of job and my name this maximum number of us to reach okay no worry i guess the need to debugger is still on that's why it's saying the error okay let's run it again and you can see my name is coming right you can see like my name is coming over there and if i want to also print the timestamp over there so how can we print the timestamp so for that we have one module called import time from date time okay from date time date time import time and you can simply print time as well okay what's went wrong
We need to print the current time. So current time in a Python. You guys, so you guys can please search on Python. <laughs> You know, I guess we're not calling the function, right? Date time dot now, okay. Date time I'll simply pass. Date time dot date, date time dot now. Which will print the current time and like this. So open this and Oh you can see that my name is gone. No worry, we have pasted it over there. Okay, so you can see like a second will be increased, okay, 33, 36 and so on. So this is how we how we can create a cron job in a Python. So like a, this task can be anything, printing a name or sending email. Suppose we have a one service for sending emails. So we can simply write a script over there that will trigger the email on a particular time. We can, we can do that. And also these are the jobs. Suppose I want to run another job after five seconds. So what we can do, we can simply assign more jobs into this with a different function name okay like a func func2 or func3 it can be anything okay that's how you can assign a number of tasks to your application background task and uh, so this is a this is like a intervals and for running the cron job over there so simply pass cron over there and what cron job takes it takes like uh, it takes like a uh, on which time you want to run the job so it can be hours like uh, suppose country is 22 so i want 22 and uh, minutes minute will be on a 46 i want to run this and the seconds will be seconds will be zero Okay, let's wait for one minute and see whether this runs or not. Let me zoom it a little bit. It will be R actually. Minute. Second. Let's wait for uh, 46 and let's see what happened. Yeah, you can see like a time is 46 and our job has been done. So this is a cron job. If you set like a uh, 23, 40, so it will run on 11, 40. Oh, so yeah, that's how we can create cron job. So first of all, create a function that you want to run as a cron job. Assign that function into this scheduler. Initialize the schedule, initialize the scheduler, assign the function to the scheduler and simply start the scheduler from the main file. So that's how you run cron jobs in a Python. So if you want, if you want to see more videos in the future, like sending emails or sending text message using Python to any phone number using cron job. So we can see that as well. So yeah, hope you like this video. Yeah. Bye.